Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to display data into HTML table from MySQL database. I am using remote database PHP my and Right now here I am in Notepad++. The file name is connection.php and this file is located in the local computer. After writing the code, I will upload this connection.php into my remote GoDaddy hostings. Before writing the PHP code, the first thing we need the HTML5 bootstrap code. For that, let's go to the getbootstrap.com and we'll get the HTML code from there. Now here I am in getbootstrap.com. Getting started click. Here the basic template. Click on it. The code just copy up to the HTML code. It's a basic responsive HTML bootstrap template and paste the code in the connection.php and here I am pasting the code after I pasted the bootstrap HTML code the next step we need the bootstrap CDN links let's copy those links and paste here here the bootstrap CDN we have to add this bootstrap cdn file on the html code let's copy this and paste in the connection.php file and paste the bootstrap cdn links between the header tag yes now now let me clear this all it's looking very clumsy The next one is the H1 display records from the MySQL PHP MyAdmin remote database. Now the next part is we have to write the PHP coding. Go here. Question mark PHP. In order to connect any database, we need a database connection strings. For that, for that I am creating a variables here. db underscore one is the host name. The second one is the database username. And the third one is the database password. And the fourth one is database underscore database name. Let's log into my GoDaddy account of PHP MyAdmin to get the host username, password, and database name. I'm logging to my GoDaddy account to connect the database of MySQL. After logging to my PHP MyAdmin of GoDaddy, which is MySQL, here you notice the IP address. This is the host name. Copy it. Paste that IP address here. The next one is the db underscore name and the next one is we need the mysql db this one also copy it i'm pasting the database name here now db underscore username and password here i'm using username and password are the fake ones at the time of uploading i will change into real credentials for that here i'm giving username and password after that the next one is the let me tag down here con is equals my sql i underscore connect method which takes four parameters one is the db host these variables just i'm pasting here db user DB password and the last one is the DB name if the dollar con not connected die 
fail to connect my SQL database dot my SQL I underscore connect underscore error method dollar SQL in the select query statement we have to mention the table name let's go back to my PHP my admin we'll check the table name and the column names here are my MySQL DB is a user database I'm expanding this user database I'm using employee table for this example it's browsers employee table and this employee table contains four fields one is a personality first name last name and city but I'm using only three fields on the first name last name city from the employee table let's go back to the code and the select statement is select star from employee table name dollar query is it query is equals to all takes a method my sql i underscore query method which takes two parameters one is the connection parameter which is this one and the other one is the sql statement this one sql if dollar query if the query is not successful die error font dot my sqli underscore error which takes a method of con the if condition up to here we just declared the host name username and password and we connected the database as well as the table also now we have to retrieve the column values from the employee table for that we have to use the HTML tags here so let's start echo table tag class here the table class I'm using it belongs to the bootstrap PR the header tax here first name last name and the city These are the headers. Now close the tier tag here. Color. While loop, while the row is equals to equals to my SQL ally fetch underscore array method array. So dollar query here echo tr td close this td here between the tds single calls dot row square brackets which I use the column names of from the table which is the first name last name and the city here also dots now after that close this tr tag
Here we require the dollar symbol. After that, after that, close the table. Here the table tag specify after the while loop. I think, I think everything is done correctly. Now it's time to upload this file into my remote server. Now I'm uploading the file connection.php through file manager. Clicking file manager. Click upload, add file. The connection.php file is at the desktop. Let's see. Here is the connection.php. I have just uploaded here. And copy this. And the website name is greatdiscounts.co.in. Let's check in the browser with connection.php. Now in the browser, great discounts.co.in slash connection.php enter here you can see the table of my sql that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos